virtual reality is potentially the most connecting and human of all digital communication technologies. You know, we use things like Facebook, text messaging, email, not because they're the best way of communicating with people, but because they're the most convenient, they're the most cost effective. But obviously you lose a lot of context when you communicate via text or even via video chat. If you could have a virtual telecommunication system that allowed you to get, you know, all of your facial expressions, all your body language, to make you feel like you're actually in a room with a group of other people, I think that you would be hard pressed to find a better digital communication system them. I saw a demonstration that was just a woman speaking, holding an infant, and you were viewing this uh, wearing a headset, and you had true sense of presence. You could walk around and get closer. What if my grandmother could, instead of me sending her uh, just snapshots of my kids, what if I could send her this? What level of connection does that create? I personally think that games aren't going to be the big VR thing. The practical applications of VR are going to far outpace games in the very near future. I'm looking at more innovative ways to engage people. I don't want it to just be sitting in a playlist on someone's YouTube channel and be expensive background music. The big way uh, we're integrating VR is that I wanted to find a way to take you inside the world of a song. You're looking around, you're seeing the lyrics come at you, you're hearing 3D sound, and the song unfolds and changes over time. I want to cater to what the song is about. People want to have experiences, that's why they go to festivals, that's why EDM's gotten so big. Let's enhance the experience of music because music has become less valuable, it's become less than free, become more disposable. There's got to be more interesting, deeper engagement with the fans, and I think that's what VR presents. Anything that you can imagine wanting to do in real life, you can do in virtual reality, no matter how expensive or how dangerous it is. There's people using the Rift for medical applications, for emergency first responder training. Car manufacturers, architects, anyone that has to visualize something inside a computer, turning to VR is the best way to really get an understanding of how the object's gonna look. We got contacted by a guy who's doing some really advanced research on uh, cancer and they have some really amazing, almost subatomic methods for fighting cancer cells. And he's like, I can't see what I'm doing. That was his problem. It's so small and it's so intimate that I can't get into what I'm doing easily and I need a better interface for that. I need to be able to see this kind of stuff, visualize it, and then execute it because then my research will be you know, much further advanced. I do believe very strongly that the VR is going to be a very good educational tool. What better way to transport kids and students to something that happened in the past that was important than through virtual reality? We're going to make it look as real as possible, what it was like, and then we don't even necessarily have to try and give you an educational message. We can just put you in the context and then just let you absorb all that information around you. The sense of presence and the sense of being somewhere educates you and entertains you on levels that transcend photographs, video, audio, music, all of those things, because it is the combination of all of those things in concert and then beyond that. I think the possibilities are endless, and that's what makes it really exciting. There's nobody going to be telling you, well, that doesn't work in this medium, because nobody totally knows what works in this medium right now. It might be something completely fantastical, like they want to be as small as an ant and be able to run around like their favorite superhero. To somebody else, it might be the ability to actually go outside their house because they've been disabled. It can be really anything. By taking the best of all these different worlds, you create something more powerful because you're in that moment and it's just about you. You're pulled out of that present reality and brought into just a different time and a place. Throughout history, we've had lots of different mediums. We've had paint, we've had books, we've had film, we've had radio, we've had television, we've had music. Largely, they exist as separate mediums. Virtual reality is interesting because it's potentially the final platform. It is the only medium that can exist for its own virtual reality content and also simulate all of these other mediums. Because once you can simulate anything you can imagine, anything you can experience in the real world, even conceptually, uh, there's not really anywhere to go after that. Ultimate goal is to make virtual reality as real as possible. Because once you can do that, there's not really any need to perfect anything else.